let's recall how to find perimeter and area of basic shapes. First of all, to find out perimeter, you just need to add all the outer lines. For example, for rectangles and squares, you just need to add all of those straight lines. And for triangles, you also need to just add the three lines surrounding it. For area of rectangle and square, the key is to multiply the vertical line with the horizontal line, like this. And for triangles, it is the same thing but divided by 2, like this. Now, how do we find the area and perimeter of composite figures or figures that are combination of more than one shape, like this one? The key to perimeter is still the same. You just need to add all the outer lines. So for this shape, you need to add 5, the diagonal line, plus 4 and 3, the line on the bottom, which is 7, and the curve line. The curve line is actually a quarter circle, and therefore to find the perimeter, it is pi times diameter, and remember that the diameter is twice of radius, so 3 times 2, 6, pi times diameter divided by 4, because it is a quarter circle. So 5 plus 7 plus 3.14 times 6 divided by 4. For the area, the key is to add both areas. The area of the quarter circle is pi times radius times radius. Don't forget to divide it by 4 because it is a quarter circle. Plus, the area of the triangle is 4 times 3 because the 3 is the height and it is the same size as the radius. Don't forget to divide by 2. It is a triangle. Don't forget. Now, how about this composite figure? The previous picture shows two shapes combined together, while well, in this one, we have a shape that loses a portion of it. So you can imagine like this is a cookie that has been beaten. How do we find the perimeter and area? For perimeter, the key is still the same. You just need to add all the lines. So we start with 4, this line, plus 2, this one, and 2 again, and 2, and 4, and the curve line. How do we get the curve line? This is a half circle, so pi times diameter divided by 2, because it is a half circle. So 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3.14 times 10 divided by 2. And how about to find the area for area of shape that lost a bit of its part? Then you are going to do subtraction. The area of the semicircle is pi times radius times radius. And because the diameter is 10, therefore the radius is 5. Don't forget to divide by 2 since it is a semicircle. Minus the area of the square in the middle, 2 times 2. Let's take a look at the next weird shape. This shape is a quarter circle plus a weird shape. But if you separate them and you rotate this part and you try to match it, it becomes a square. So to find the area of this composite figure, all you need to do is just finding the area of a square. Well, if you want to find the perimeter, try to flip this part and flip it again until it becomes a semicircle and therefore the perimeter is just the perimeter of a semicircle. The last weird shape 
that we have is this one. It looks like a leaf, but if you pay attention closely, half of it is actually it is a quarter circle that loses a part in the shape of triangle. So to find the area is just the quarter circle minus the triangle. Well, for the real shape of this, don't forget to multiply it by two. And how about for perimeter? This part is actually just the perimeter of the quarter circle. Therefore, the perimeter of this weird shape is just the perimeter of quarter circle multiplied by two.